Hey guys, Dawson Weedrick here from Nerdy in Many Ways, bringing you another weekly sketch which I have drawn using the absolutely fantastic Procreate app on iOS. On the weekly sketch, I typically draw characters both real, fictional, and actually original ones that I've created myself. And today is a special video because this drawing was requested several weeks ago by Owner's Film Reviews, one of my most loyal subscribers here on YouTube. I actually collaborated with him a couple weeks back on a franchise movie rankings video, and if you missed out on that, you can check that out in the link at the top of your screen. As Owner requested, today's drawing is of the horror icon John Kramer, aka the Jigsaw Killer from the well-known Saw franchise. And full disclosure, I've personally never seen any of the Saw films featuring this iconic character. In fact, the closest I've gotten to watching them is, you know, watching videos here on YouTube that describe the premise of the films and everything that happens without actually having to witness all the horror and gore. I'm not a coward! But regardless of that, I was excited to give this character a try, so without further ado, let's get to the sketch. Alright, so let's get into this drawing. Now, I really appreciated this request from Owner because, one, that's the kind of character that I don't normally draw. If you've seen my other weekly sketches, it's been more of like, like a Star Wars character or a superhero character or some combination of characters that I've created myself. And so this type of drawing or trying to attempt this drawing of John Kramer, aka Jigsaw, really forced me to go out of my comfort zone and go into different realms of, I guess, entertainment of characters to draw. And, you know, as Owner pointed out when he requested it, he said that he feels like a lot of horror characters don't get enough credit or they don't get enough recognition in art. And looking at different fan art of different horror icons that I looked up at while researching before I drew this picture, I can definitely see why there's some very interesting and very well-designed art out there of horror movie characters. Now, it's not going to say that I'm going to start watching horror films from now on just because, you know, that's, that's just not my cup of tea, you know, but... I did really love making this character. I think the main thing that I loved so much about drawing this one was, of course, the human part of the face. Of course, he's wearing, like, half a mask or, you know, the, the puppet face or whatever that is. Again, I haven't seen the films at all, so if my lack of knowledge of the things in this film bothers you, I do apologize. But I did the best that I could with the limited knowledge that I have. And so, anyway, his face, though, his normal natural face was probably the funnest part for me to do just because there's so much detail that you have to capture in there. There's so many wrinkles in John Kramer's face and you have to try to make it as realistic as possible without, you know, trying to go overboard with adding in those wrinkles. But again, I really enjoyed doing it and I especially loved when I was able to take the lines out of there. You'll see me add them back in a couple times just to get some reference on different colors and everything. And I think the most interesting parts of this drawing was probably the mask part of it because it's obviously a different texture than skin is. It's a different kind of uh, material that it's made out of. It almost kind of looks like plaster, you know, or like paper, paper mache, so that kind of thing. And it's, of course, a very different texture. And so I had to use a different brush to try to get that different feel in there. And I did a similar thing to the skin. I use what's called this uh, old skin brush. It's in the touch-up section of Procreate's brushes. And I just dabbed that a little bit try to make it as subtle as possible still giving it that old skin feel and I just really like how that turned out quite a bit I also really liked the gradation of shading in the hood it definitely gives it that de that depth that you of course would normally see in a hoodie because of course his head is inside the hood there's a space in there they have to I guess try to visualize and create with the use of shading which was really fun and I like how it, it grades into the mask a little bit too you see the top of the mask on the left side how it's a little darker, and of course, it, that gives it more of that depth. It makes it feel like it's actually involved and in inside that hoodie. Now, a lot of the remainder of this is just minute details that I had to go in and just edit, almost kind of very monotonously. <laughs> you know, it wasn't necessarily always fun to try to get all those small details in there, but it definitely made all the difference in the end, or at least that I noticed. I don't know if a lot of you noticed, but I definitely noticed the difference that it made going back in, trying to increase the contrast of the shading, make it that much more distinct, make it, so, again, I'll use the word depth just because I feel like that's the, the theme of this drawing here is trying to get that depth of space. And I feel like I was able to accomplish that at least to a certain degree and of course getting the lighting on the hood as well. And so with that adding the background, here is the finished product. Alright guys, that's a wrap on today's video, and thank you so much for tuning in, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe down below and click that little bell so you don't miss out on all the great weekly content. And with that, I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!